Josh Cook is with us, I'm sure having absorbed all the frustration and disappointment of Silverstone two weeks ago, but it, it was a big blow, that uh, disqualification at the end of uh, uh, race two, especially coming at the stage of the championship campaign that you were at. Yeah, and of course the way the, the regulations work, uh, not only does it take you out of that race, got to start at the back of the, the, the grid for the, for the following race. So that, and again, with, with the way the regulations are, I had to carry the success ballast I, I would have had uh, crossing the line in, in that position. So starting from the back of the grid with, with that 66 kilos meant that any chance of a point score as well in, in race three was taken out. So, you know, of course, it was massively frustrating for us as a team. Um, but, you know, the rules are the rules and, and we failed the right out check. Yes, it, there was damage to, to one of the wishbones that, that we think failed um, prematurely. It had only been on the car for that one race. So frustrating, but the rules are the rules. Uh, so, yeah, we've just got to get on with it, really. And after everything you'd achieved in the season up to that point uh, and the position that you were in, was the immediate feeling, right, that's the championship challenge gone? I mean, because it's so late in the year, you know, we don't have, an, you know, the, the, the number of races left to to just go for consistent point scores and, and, and claw it back. So at this stage, you know, OK, we're, we're in with the shout mathematically. The only thing is we're going to have to have some pretty lucky weekends on, on our side and for the other competitors to have absolute shockers. And anything can happen in the in Touring Car Championship, as we know, but it's a big ask. So I think the main thing for us, you know, this year has been great pace-wise. Yes, we've made a few mistakes as a team, which we can learn on, we can we can develop on, and and hopefully uh, improve on in the future. Um, but we've still got to you know kind of hold our heads up high, knowing how how competitive we've been this year. Um, but with the remaining rounds, yes, we've just got to get stuck in, get as many points as we can, and see what happens, and just put on a good show. And you have to give enormous credit to Ash Sutton, but we have reached the point in the championship campaign where it requires him to trip up, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know he's he's put in the hard work and he's and he's had those results so all he's got to do is just keep scoring keep finishing uh, and he hasn't got to take any risks but um, we'll just see if Ash gets a little bit excited like he does sometimes and starts getting stuck in. So the mood for you is determined and I'm sure it's uh, the mood that's reflected throughout the team as well. How important has this first race tomorrow become for you? Like I said you know if we're if thinking about the championship you know we, we need to just score score big but we know that that's going to be tough. Obviously, we want to finish as high up as we, as we can. Um, I think race one's always super important to set up your weekend. So we've just got to see what we can do in qualifying. That's obviously the the start of it, really. Uh, make sure that we can just uh, just score score as many points as we can and just keep finishing the races. Because, like I said, if you, if you have a DNF in a race one or a race two, it really does hurt hurt the rest of your weekend. The arithmetic is against you, as you say, but how important also is it for you to uh, to get to Brands Hatch at least with a shout of something? Yeah, um, like I say, I think that the, the points on the table at the final round will be 67. I'm 63 points behind at the moment, so as long as I uh, stay stay within Ash with it with another four points, so I'll, I'll be in with a shout. But you, you know, it's just uh, it's just mathematical at the moment. You know, there's there's not really any any realistic chance, so. I think, like I said, we just need to get stuck in, put on a good show and uh, try and make it good for the fans to watch. You'll give it everything, I'm sure. Josh, all the best. Cheers.